Halloween's coming up. Obviously, the midterms are coming up. And um, it seems like a lot of uh, Republicans specifically are pulling out some of their spookiest advertisements <laughs> to uh, drum up fear about their challengers in the race. And so I want to just 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 a little smattering of my faves and uh, getting you guys' thoughts on um, on all of them. So maybe we can have a winner at the end who sure. was the scariest. All right. So this is Scare Tactics. Spooky. Over in Iowa, um, Kim Reynolds, a g- current governor, is running against Deidre DeGier, who is uh, who is a black woman mm. who in, in Iowa, uh, which is, I believe, still a predominantly white state. Mm. Um, and this is how Kim is positioning herself versus Deidre DeGere. She doesn't say her by name, really. Um, but here's our first runner up for scare tactics. Starts with, if you're just listening, um, a quote from Cori Bush. And defunding the police has to happen. Watching the news, you wonder, has the rest of the country lost its mind? Attacks on police, open borders, paying people not to work. Aren't you glad you live in Iowa? Governor Kim Reynolds. Here we still have common sense. We kept businesses open and kids in school. We cut taxes and support our police. Because in Iowa, America still works. Oh man, I, that's uh, you know what I like about that one. We're we're going classic. We're classic scare tactic yeah. with like uh, you know uh, black people want to defund the police and the borders are open and what welfare? Yes, yeah. People are getting paid to not work. So like it's that's classic '90s conservative. Yeah, yeah. But aren't you glad here in Iowa? We've got demographics on our side. Yeah, exactly. And here I am at this uh, like yeah. little little boutique coffee shop with yeah. some homemade candles in the back that are sold for thirty five dollars a piece. Anyway, you like you just yeah here in wherever I am, yeah. I'm always inside of a Chico's. Yeah, and I'm always buying something here in this cornfield. We make <laughs> sure that everybody works, even if they're injured. It's like cool. <laughs> are you sick and dying? Well, you better work for that medicine, motherfucker. <laughs> Vote Kim Reynolds. Keep spraying that roundup, yeah. bitch. Vote for me. Hacha! That's a whip that she has. <laughs> she is literally a slave driver. Yeah. Um. So that's that's Kim Reynolds. Then we have uh, moving on up uh, from my least fave to my fave. Just just putting it out there. Mm. So this is an unofficial. Mm. Uh, campaign ad for Tudor Dixon is running for governor of Michigan. Um, Tudor Dixon, Gre- Gretchen Whitmer. Yes, Tudor Dixon. Tudor. Um, Tudor on Dixon Tudor is... on the pewter. Yeah, I'm definitely sorry. some sort of sex position. It's the wrong accent, but it's fun to do. Um, and this is. I wish I could show you the whole thing. I realize we might have cut out the best part. Oh, no. I'm sorry for that. That's okay. But if you're just listening, um, it's a group of sort of MAGA, like sort of, like they went shopping at the MAGA, MAGA Spirit Halloween store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, for their outfits. Uh, yeah. Old people standing around having a perfectly normal, um, what feels like forced improv conversation. Hey, have you seen the TV ads with the governor talking about the great things she's done for Michigan? She's a liar. Whitmer can say what she wants, but we live here. Just look around, man. During COVID, Whitmer locked down businesses like the Owasso Barber and put one woman from Holland in jail. Oh, yeah. 3,000 restaurants closed. And she's pro-business? Yeah, right. And what about those higher gas and food prices? Our schools were closed for almost two years. Poor kids. Okay, okay. I'm voting for the other chick. What's her name? Tudor Dixon. Okay, let's roll. Watch out for potholes. Whitmer never kept her promise to fix the the damn damn roads. I mean, unbelievable on (gasps) so many levels. (gasps) Round of applause. First of all, um, you're right about they they look all so unnatural. (laughs) 
They like and what about <laughs> like mega hot top? They 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 went to cop talk topic and they <laughs> and they got like let me get one uh American flag bandana uh <laughs> headscarf and three uh default leather jackets. But I don't ride a bike. We'll just put them in the background. Oh my god! And Terry, uh, my favorite part is. They say Gretchen Whitmer's name like 10 times. And then the one time where they're supposed to say Tudor Dixon, it's just like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> what is- You're killing me. No, the one, no, they don't say her name. They say, what about that other chick? Well, yeah, first of all, that was great. But also, they all say her name at the same time. And it's just, everyone, I'm giving fair warning. No, no. <laughs> What's the name? Tudor Dixon. That is <laughs> Tudor Dixon, and just like the amount of rehearsing. I thought if they did it loud, it would be good for the sound. Lesson learned. Oh God! Watch out for them potholes. Just like mm, and you know, fix but the damn state borders on the sidewalk. <laughs> I feel like this is what Josh was talking about in terms of you know we need to make attractive, uh, like campaign ads yeah like no this. i mean it helps it has heart head and and funny bone. and funny well here's I think a, it's got those three things honestly it does have those things like <laughs> to me i'm like that is kind of a good ad even though i mean it doesn't it won't be effective in that it doesn't i don't know who that was for right and there was like uh just the name of the republican uh party in that particular region but right. yeah that was incredible oh <sighs> so good Oh my god. Um okay, so we have two more. I don't know. That that one maybe was even better, but this is this is short and sweet. Here we go. Uh this is from uh Louisiana oh, yes. Senator uh John Kennedy. Here we go. Violent crime is surging in Louisiana. Woke leaders blame the police. I blame the criminals. A mom should not have to look over her shoulder when she's pumping gas. I voted against the early release of violent criminals, and I opposed defunding the police. Look, if you hate cops just because they're cops, the next time you get in trouble, call a crackhead. I'm John Kennedy, and I approve this message. (laughs) Violent crime. Uh, First of all, uh... Down here, Lisa. Uh, <laughs> if Jim Crow were a man, oh, that yeah. would be me. Or That's if, how I speak. Uh, I mean, this guy is fucking. He he also went is for Jim it. Crow man? Yeah, yeah. Jim Crow is a literal crow. It was just like, <laughs> hey, it's me. <laughs> Anyways, laws are gonna be different now. Uh, <laughs> you never thought of Jim Crow as an actual crow? I think about this regularly. <laughs> It's this very racist crow who's like <laughs> changing laws, making them unequal. Okay. Uh. <laughs> okay. Sorry. No, but I just love, first of all, his makeup job is insane. He's, uh, yeah. like, it's like they really airbrush the shit yeah, out of yeah. him. But like, next time you're in trouble, don't call the cops, call a crackhead. Yeah, call a crackhead. I was thinking about that for a while, actually. And I was like, I, I don't think a crackhead would kill you. Yeah, no, I was going to say, yeah, next time I'm in trouble, calling a crackhead actually sounds better because I have yet to see a crackhead who uh, is asked for help not, at the very least, be a little helpful. I'm yeah, sorry. But like, or like idea, not have the strength to murder you. Right, exactly. It, listen, the I don't focus. know. This is coming from, obviously, a guy who has never met a crackhead. But like crackheads, if there's one thing they're good at, it's solving some sort of puzzle because that's all they're thinking about. When you're just like, hey, 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 I need help. Someone just stole something. They smoke a little crack and then, but da 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 but da 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 Like Mighty Mouse? Yeah, well, that was Popeye the Sailor Man, oh, but okay. both. Um, and yeah, here I come to smoke some yeah. crack. <laughs> yeah. And then they're like, okay, let's do this. And then by you, you walk to the bathroom five minutes later, you come back and they're like, this goes all the way to the top. <laughs> This is the mayor. Every time. That's why they call them crackheads, because they always crack the case. Exactly. They're, they are crack fucking detectives. Yep. Um, yeah. And also, like, just he's just like, some people, <laughs> some, some people blame cops. I blame, and I was like, you want to say it. I know you want to say it. You want to say you blame black people. Yeah, like, you want to yeah. I blame 
the black criminals mostly. <laughs> Violent crime. I love that a, is definitely what a good racist Louisiana guy is yes. so funny to me. <laughs> well, I do declare. <laughs> All right. Bye, gumbo. We got one more, and this is ugh. so Dr. Oz has been attempting to hit back on um John Fetterman's just mm -hmm. incredible incredible ad campaigns which include a recent one comparing dr oz to dr nick from the simpsons so good you know like it's just he's just crushing it uh on every level and um all dr oz can muster is paying some fucking horrible ad firm to repurpose jib jab cartoons oh, no. and cards if you remember jib jab which is just cards that put yeah. like your face in like a dancing elf or yeah something. remember the iraq war around that time those are the funniest things you'd ever seen mostly because the iraq war <laughs> things were pretty dark back then yeah. we laughed at whatever we laughed at literally anything so quiznos he... commercials were funny to us then. <laughs> here is that attempt uh to um you know just nail nail fetterman to the cross and prisoners free while borders overflow soon may the fetterman come to bring us radical socialism one day when the nation is done we'll wish we would told him no soon may the fetterman come to bring us radical socialism one day when the nation is done we'll wish we would told him no <laughs> oh god that is a, a little bit of a planet of the apes thing at the end where the uh it looked like the statue of liberty was just covered it was like broken in the ground I'm not yeah, like sure. why is it apocalyptic yeah i you guess those radical socialism i kind of into that yeah, like first of all slaps yeah um we wish you told them no the no part is the only part i actually don't like um <laughs> told him more is what i would have said we need more of that radical socialism it's amazing how many like there's su there's such obvious misses for uh, well, some of these some of these rhymes are like they're just right there to pick up off the ground as, and like you just fucking left it as an expert in doing uh, like parody um, songs mm -hmm. mostly about the wire and the Sopranos I gotta say like um, I respect the choice uh, because the Fetterman part does kind of work with the song but the wish we told them no part is just like. Mm. Doesn't work. And also, he, they are soon may the Fetterman come to bring us radical socialism. Yeah, too many, I, too I like that though. Yeah. I mean, I like the message and I like the music. Yeah. And the, I think the funniest thing about this is that's that song that everyone is doing on TikTok. That is like yes, the sea shanty. That's what they're hoping will happen. Right. And I'm like, hey, um, I don't know if you guys uh, know this, but uh, your constituents, Dr. Oz, they don't know what the fuck a TikTok is. Uh, <laughs> so really, they're what just like, what's to? this song? They don't get the parody song. And trust me, as a guy who has done parody songs of, uh, of obscure Panda Bear B-sides for the Wire podcast, um, people don't like when they don't know the reference song. What's going on, Frantifa? If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do 